How's it going, you guys? I ordered my tulip bulbs today. I'm already planning for fall and springtime, which feels so weird because I'm sitting out here and it's 100 degrees. Um, we'll see how long my phone lasts, if it overheats or not. But we're just gonna jump into this and I'm gonna tell you guys what I bought. I bought a total of, what is that? One, two, 1,300 bulbs. It's a lot of bulbs. Um, but it's only four different things. So it's not even that many, um, but I think it'll make a big impact. So the I only bought I bought everything for next year. Also, I have my computer here, so if I'm looking down, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I bought everything for next year from Color Blends, and I'm really really excited about it. Um, I've ordered from them before when we lived in Chico, but that was years ago. So excited to get my hands on some of their bulbs again. I am keeping it, I'm keeping it minimal. <laughs> um, minimal color palette, okay? So color palette is very minimal. So first thing that I bought, this is the, is a daffodil. It's called Mary Poppins. Um, and it's unlike any other daffodil that I have. And I'm sure by the way that I will pick up so many more tulip bulbs and daffodil bulbs um, throughout fall time, especially as they come available in like Home Depot and Lowe's and other box stores like that. I will definitely be picking up more. Um, first one that I ordered though is Daffodil Mary Poppins. And I'm just gonna read you guys the description from the Color Blends website. I ordered a hundred of these. So Mary Poppins is a cute and prolific little thing, but one might ask, what is it doing on the daffodil list? Well, believe it or not, it is a daffodil. Um, it has extra large cups and their petals are reduced to spurs, which is kind of one of the reasons that I wanted to get. I did see this one on Monty Dawn, so, or Garden, Gardener's World, and Monty Dawn was growing it. They had like 10 of them and he had them in a terracotta pot and it was really cute. So I want to, I was hoping to get like my hands on like 30, 40 of them, but minimum order of these was 100. So 100 it is. And the greenery of this one, the foliage does come up in the fall time. So that's something that I do have to be on the lookout for that these are gonna come up in the fall time, but they won't bloom until springtime. So um, guess we'll see. It says that sometimes the leaves in more harsh climates do burn in the winter time um, or get damaged but it's okay because the amount of blooms that they produce is um, it totally covers it and plus the leaves on it are really thin so they're little bulbs and they are it says that this one is hardy in zones 5a to 7b in the south or 10b on the west coast so i don't know if these ones will actually come back for me I've never grown them before, so these are going to be a total experiment. But I'm really excited about them. When I saw them in a little tiny terracotta pot and just kind of like bunched together, I thought they were really, really cute. The next one that I ordered is a tulip. So the rest of these that I ordered is tulips. I only ordered one daffodil. The next one is a tulip called Clearwater, and I ordered a hundred of these also. And these are going to get mixed with the next one that I ordered, so it'll be 200 total. The clear water tulip is just a goblet style white flower. I thought that they were really pretty. I just like how like bright white they are. I'm hoping that they last a little bit longer. Um, tulips don't come back for us in our zone. Tulips are zones like three through like seven or six or something like that. I treat them more as like an annual, but I mean tulips pretty much everywhere in the U.S. at least don't come back very well. They need like a certain number of chill time hours so um when i get all these i actually want to be planting them in the fall time i will be planting them in the middle of winter um or early springtime and they're gonna sit in a fridge <laughs> i'll go over all that in a minute it's so crazy that we're already thinking about fall and bulbs and winter um these are a mid to late blooming one so that's kind of why I got these ones. The next ones that I got bloom a little bit earlier. So that way I'll have like a show of one and then a show of the other one, like in the same exact area. So a hundred of these guys, um, mid to late bloomers. Clearwater is uh, just a clean white tulip. And I will be planting all of these actually on this side of our property where we're at right now. This area gets protection from the hot, hot afternoon sun. 
as you can see I'm in the shade. Um, the other side of the property just gets blasted with sun and there's been spring times where we've hit like 90 degrees and it just kills tulips. <clears throat> so I don't plant any over on the other side of the property, I plant them all over on this side. Um, so the property kind of looks a little unbalanced with tulips because this whole side will have tulips and the other side will have none at all. Um, anyways, yeah, so the clear water tulip, I'm excited about those. I think that that'll be just a nice bright white color. The next one, I don't 100% know how to pronounce it, but on the website it says it's pronounced something like sauna. So I'm just going to call it the sauna tulip. <laughs> um, it looks like sane. Santa? Santa? San? I don't know. Um, S-A-N-N-E. I'll pop the name up on the screen right here somewhere. Um, it says that this tulip has been a collective. They've had their eyes on it. They've been wanting to grow it for a few years now. Um, Two-toned, deep pink, soft pink along the edges. Makes incredible bouquets in the garden. Purpley white color. And it's really pretty. I love the like kind of creaminess of it. They're showing a few different colors. Some of them have a little more white, some of them have a little more cream to it. Either way, I'll be happy with that. I think they're really pretty. These are the ones that I'm gonna mix with the clear water tulips. So these ones bloom a little bit earlier. These are mid blooming, where the other ones are mid to late blooming. So I'm expecting these ones to show up, bloom, and as they're starting to fizzle out, then the clear water will be coming into their own. So um, you kinda wanna get a range of tulips. Ideally, I would get another batch that is kind of like an early one and that way I can have like early, mid, and then like mid to late. That way I get like a whole show out of the whole section instead of just like one show and then they're done. Um, but maybe I'll end up picking those up locally. I don't know. <laughs> um, these I ordered a hundred of. Same thing. These are going to get planted over on this side of the property. The next one that I ordered is a blend of tulips from Color, from Color Blends. Um, they have a whole bunch of mixes and varieties that they have chosen that work really well together and I wanted to get a blend. You get a way better price if you order the blends and I ordered a thousand of just this kind. So um, this one is called Shocks and Struts Tulip Blend. It doesn't give you the names of what is exactly in that blend because I think it's their own blend. But it's a full spectrum of pink from soft to vibrant cools to warms. Um, plant these very close to balance each other out perfectly, lifting up the spring landscape like the suspension of a 76 Cadillac Fleetwood Brogham introduced in 2023. So this is new for 2023, um, but I really like how pink this one is. And my plan is to do this in the front yard so you see this in the front yard when you first walk up. I think this one's really pretty. Like I said, I ordered a thousand of them. And so this was the bulk of my um, tulips. And these ones bloom like, kind of like early to mid. So like right in the middle of early to mid. So these ones will bloom and then I'll get the other ones, the clear, the, sa the sauna. I'll get these ones and then the sauna and then the clear water. So those should all bloom at totally different times, but really pretty. I'm really excited about that. And I'm sure I will pick up even more I will be picking up all of my daffodils locally, except for these Mary Poppin ones. Um, really excited about the Mary Poppin ones. I think that they're gonna be a lot of fun. And then other than that, I am now planning my fall garden, which is so crazy. So planning fall garden, um, I have a lot to go over for planning your fall garden. So in order to start our fall garden, we really need to figure out how many days we have left in our growing season which our growing season, our first frost that we could possibly get is sometime around November 30th. So I still have a ton of time to plant whatever I want. I could almost get full crops. So I could get full crops of tomatoes, melons, all kinds of things. Um, I basically could start my summer garden now. Um, <clears throat> but it's time for me to really start thinking about this fall garden and um, getting it in a full swing. I'm gonna take out everything that I have in the cut flower garden where I did the, my vegetables my first year, and I'm gonna turn it back into a vegetable garden. Um, I grew, I tried to grow a whole bunch of different flowers back there and it just didn't work out. I should have just taken it as a sign that I should have done vegetables back there. So where is fenced off by Lola and the chickens, 
um, I'm gonna turn that area right back into a, um, a vegetable garden and I'm gonna do it this fall. So I'm gonna plant a few things. I would like to get some cucumbers going. Those don't take very long. I think it's like 110 days or something like that, 90 days to maturity. And with this heat, they're gonna grow so fast. Um, so I've got a lot to do. I've got lots. Mm, I'm making the cicadas mad. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for them to go away. So I have lots to do for the fall garden. Um, I need to start preparing for that. I need to start ordering some fall seeds, go through the seeds that I currently do have. I think that's going to be a whole nother video. This is just kind of a quick, oh, there's a bug. Oh, there's another bug. <laughs> this is just kind of a quick little rundown of what I ordered for next year for um, bulbs. I'm really excited about it. I highly recommend you guys checking out Color Blends. This video is not sponsored by them. I wish it was. <laughs> um, but highly recommend checking out Color Blends. What they have for a selection is really, really nice. Um, and if you're in a warmer zone like I am, you can opt in and have them chill your bulbs. Which, so like I said, for us in these cooler zones, we need to really start thinking about, um, you know, not thinking about, you need to chill your bulbs and we don't get enough chill time. So you need 12 to I think 16 weeks of chill time. So zones seven through 10, you need to chill your tulip bulbs and Color Blends does a really cool thing where you can pay, I think it's $30 and they will chill all of your tulip bulbs and they will deliver them the week that you want them delivered. Um, they try to keep it like a week's window, maybe up to two weeks, but um, I didn't opt in for that this year because we have a fridge in our shed and then I will just plug the, that in and I'll throw all the tulip bulbs in there. Um, but we have to chill our bulbs. Zones seven through 10 or zone seven and higher, you need to chill your tulip bulbs and they need to go 12 to 16 weeks. Um, so I have them delivering my bulbs late October and um, I will be putting those in the fridge and I'll be planting sometime in January all of my tulip bulbs, especially because we don't hit freezing temperatures. So um, Color Blends, uh, they will deliver tulip bulbs when you want them. They have a great selection of tulip bulbs, different colors. They have daffodil bulbs. They have all kinds of other things that I really want to order. Um, they have some like uh, woodland blend mixes that I would like to incorporate. I would like to incorporate those in our side yard that's on this side of the property where our fountain is. I just, there's a lot of things that I would like to order from them, but I don't have a million dollars. <laughs> but they do have the best prices that I've found online. I was shopping around and seeing what I could find price-wise for tulip bulbs. Um, the more you order with them, the bigger discount that you get. So that's why I tried to order, like I think the minimum on most things was 25, but you end up paying um, like 74 cents up to like a dollar something per bulb. Um, but then the higher number you ordered, so that's why I did a hundred, then it goes down from there. It goes like, four, I think I was paying like 40 cents a bulb. So you essentially get like twice the amount of bulbs for like the same dollar amount. So um, totally worth it to order more of them. I've got 1300 bulbs coming. I don't know if I have room for 1300 bulbs. This area is going to get a lot of them. This area will probably take 200. And then I'm going to have to find room for another thousand. And the daffodils. <laughs> It'll be fun. Either way, whatever. But it should be good. I'm really excited about getting these. I love, I love springtime. I love having tulips. I didn't plant any tulips last year. And I was mad at myself about that. So this year I went a little hard. I spent 500 and $53 on tulip bulbs. Way more than I wanted to spend. Um, shipping was kind of rough. That was like another $76 just for shipping. I wanted to be around the like 400 mark and I thought I was good and then I went to go check out and I was not good. Uh, whatever, still worth it. Still going to be worth it in the long run to spend that kind of money. I know that is a lot of money to spend just on bulbs, and especially something that's not gonna come back every single year. Um, tulips do not come back every single year reliably. Reliably? Reliably. <laughs> tulips do not come back every single year reliably, especially for us in warmer zones. We might get a few here and there. Last year for us, 
we actually had a really cold winter and a really wet winter and this year we ended up getting some of my tulips magically came back i think i got a total of like 10 or 15 which was insane i was not expecting any of them to come up at all so um that was a pleasant surprise but that's only because we got a really cold winter where the winter before we had one day that hit 32 and it like hit there was a huge hummingbird there it was hit 32 degrees and it like hit right at 32 um and that was it one day so we never know what's gonna happen here so um i think that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys um are able to get some fall bulbs this year the earlier that you order them the better off you're gonna be you're gonna get exactly what you want there's a couple more that i want i want some of the brownie tulips and the um brownie tulips there's another one that i want that's kind of a brownish like gold color and it's really pretty if i can think of the name i'm gonna pop it down here but i'll pop up a picture of the brownie and the other one that i want if i can remember the name of it <laughs> i'm sure i'll be able to so i think that's gonna be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it thanks for hanging out with me today and i will see you all in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.